What's going on guys? My name is Christopher and welcome to It's Complicated, the show where I showcase and talk about wristwatches. So if you love watches like I do, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and then click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button and you'll be all set. Today we're going to be talking about Seiko's announcement of launching their new Seiko 5 models. Here we go. So on the 6th of August of this year, Seiko announced that they will be launching new versions of the Seiko 5. Now, if you ask me, they are marketing this pretty well. They are releasing 27 different references. Now, they are marketing the 27 different references in five different ways. Sports, suits, specialists, street, and sense. Five different S names for a Seiko 5, pretty slick. And have a look at this new logo for the new Seiko 5s coming out. It's just so much more modern than that Shielded 5 that was released, I believe, in 1963. Just has a great look to it. Could say S for Seiko, could say 5, could say both. It's pretty awesome. Now, these Seiko 5s definitely seem to be the permanent replacement for the Seiko SKX007 and the SKX series, which many watch fans seem to really love. Now, as a side note, when the Seiko 5 was released in 1963, the 5 stood for five things that the watch featured. One is a day, the other is a date, a water resistance, the crown at 4 o'clock, and the overall durability of the case. Now, a lot of people on forums, etc., are talking many different things about this Seiko 5 coming out, and I want to talk about some of the things at first that people seem to be generally happy about. The first thing that everybody seems to be happy about is the movement that is going to be featured in the new Seiko 5s. It's the 4R36 movement that's featured in the Seiko Turtle, and it does hand wine and it hacks. That's two things that the old 7526 movement did not do. Another thing I'm going to say that I think most people seem to appreciate about this new watch coming out is that it will have a display back. And another thing that people generally seem to dig about the new Seiko 5 sports watches coming out is that new logo, which I did mention earlier. It is just very, very cool compared to that old Shield logo. But there are a few things that the Seiko fan base seem to dislike about the new Seiko 5 series coming out and at least are arguing a little bit about on forums, etc. First off, these watches are still going to be getting a Hardlex crystal. And I think a lot of people are really just disappointed in that. I think people really were hoping for a sapphire crystal on these new Seiko 5 sports models, especially considering their price, which I'm going to get to in a minute. And people, these Hardlex crystals scratch very, very easily. I mean, look at what I did to my Seiko SKX007. Another thing I seem to see people complaining about with these new Seiko 5 models coming out is its water resistance. The Old SKX ones had a water resistance of 200 meters, but these new Seiko 5 sports models coming out, which look generally to have the same case as that SKX, these watches will feature a water resistance of 100 meters. Another thing to mention is the new 5s coming out do not feature a screw down crown, which the SKX did have a screw down crown. But again, going back to those under $100 5s, they did not have a screw down crown. So it's kind of a toss up there. And lastly, I see people complaining about and debating the price of these new Seiko 5s coming out. Right now, you can snag a Seiko 5 on Amazon for under $100 delivered to your door. These new Seiko 5s coming out, they start at $295 and range all the way to $350. I am sure a lot of the change in price is in that movement that is put into these new Seiko 5s coming out. And of course, some of that must be marketing and this being a brand new reference. But starting at three times what the old Seiko 5 is, I mean, that's a pretty big jump. And that's even double what the old SKX reference were. So I can understand why people are kind of complaining there. If you ask me, Seiko did a lot of things right with this upcoming release of the new Seiko 5, but I do agree with a lot of their fans that think they missed a spot with some features, like no screw down crown. I just don't see why you wouldn't throw that in there. And also no sapphire crystal, especially for the price they're charging for these timepieces. 
Not that I think that these watches aren't totally going to be worth the 300 bucks they're going to be asking for, especially with that better movement in the watch. And you could always put a custom sapphire crystal in that watch or have somebody do it for you at a small fee like I did with my Seiko SKX. So let me know what you guys think. Are you going to be out shopping for these new Seiko 5s when they release, I believe, in the end of September or in early October? And that wraps up another episode of It's Complicated. Don't forget to subscribe to the show, like this video, share it with all your friends, and I'll see you next time on another episode of It's Complicated.